Hi everyone, welcome to searchandanalysis.com. In today's video, I will tell you how to run an independent sample t-test in SPSS. This test is particularly used to compare the means of two set of data. So this is the data file we have and, and we are interested to see if the average organizational pride of male and female are different. So simply we will go to analyze, compare means and independent sample t-test. So our test variable is organization pride and our target variable is gender. So after that we have to define the groups like in our case uh, we have one for male and two for female so we can just simply write one and two but you can use a different grouping as well like if you have the data like zero and one one to two four to five ten to twenty and so on so in our case we have just one and two so we are just putting it here one and two let's continue and okay so here we have the results this is just showing the total numbers of male is 179 and female is 76 and then we have the mean value of organization pride in case of male is 3.79 and in case of female it is 3.54 standard deviation is 0.7828 and 0.77930 standard errors mean is 0.0585 in case of male and 0.08939 in case of female and here we have the statistics related to living test of equality of variances and you can see that it is insignificant and uh, it is supposed to be insignificant because if it is significant then it means that the sample the two sample drawn from the different population since it is significant we will proceed it further and just see the value of t and then degree of freedom and significance we can see that it is significant at 0 0.01 so in order to be significant this value is this is value should be less than 0 0.05 so most of the time we just interpret the statistics up to this significant level and after that you can see some other statistics as well if you want you can include in your tables but these are the extra things I hope you have uh, understand how to run independent sample t-test in SPSS. If you will have any further question you can write in comments. Thanks for watching.